is going to be a kitchen quickie. Uh, we had a really busy day. I didn't get home till after 7 o'clock, so I threw some fish in the oven. I got some macaroni and cheese ready to go on the stove, and we're going to use some zucchini out of the garden. And I wanted to show you our very favorite way to prepare zucchini and have it as a side dish. It's super easy, and I know that everybody knows how to cook zucchini. Maybe some of you don't, but sometimes this is a no-brainer, and you've got squash and squash and squash and squash coming out of your ears in your garden, then sometimes it's nice to just leave it as simple as possible. I think that zucchini is delicious when it is more simply prepared. I'm also going to show you at some point, hopefully this weekend, how to make uh, either a zucchini fritter or a zucchini pancake. Um, <clears throat> but today I'm just going to go for quick and easy and we're just going to, I had one jumbo zucchini, this is it cut up, that um, I'm just going to kind of chunk up and if it had been any larger I probably would have saved it for some other purpose but this is still really tender and it looked really nice so we're gonna eat it I just like to chunk it up and put it in this bowl um, really easy and this one zucchini is gonna be enough to feed all four of us um, Mike is a squash monster. She really loves squash, so I really can't complain about that. Um, my kids love vegetables, and I think people who have kids who don't like vegetables, I think that they've either been presented incorrectly or or it's, it's some mental thing where it's actually been presented where mom and dad maybe don't like vegetables so much. But I'm just going to put three little pats of butter in here. That probably is about two tablespoons, to be quite honest with you. Um, this is Mrs. Dash. So give that a sprinkle of Mrs. Dash, and I am going to add the Himalayan salt because um, zucchini is somewhat bland, so I'll add some salt. That was less than a half a teaspoon for sure. And some cracked black pepper, and this is the mixed peppercorns. I love, this is my favorite peppercorn blend, and um, it's got red, white, pink, and green and black peppercorns <clears throat> in there. And it really does give a nice diverse flavor. So, the only other thing I'm gonna do, and you're gonna probably laugh, you can put a plate on top of it, or you can just put a paper plate on top of it. And I'm gonna stick it in the microwave for about five minutes and let it sit in there while the rest of my dinner is cooking. So I'll be back when this is all ready to go. Okay, it has come out of the microwave and it is perfectly cooked. This is just the best way, I'm turning on a light over here, sorry. This is just the best, quickest way to make zucchini on the side. And we didn't add any liquid, we just put a little bit of butter in there and it's, it's perfectly soft and delicious, but it's not mushy. It's gonna have a little tooth to it. And um, this is how everybody in my family likes it. I hope that gives you a good idea of another way to make zucchini because, like I said, sometimes we have it coming out of our ears this time of year. And um, I hope you try it and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.